the show that the world needs right now. CNN anchor Casey Hunt had trouble finding her words as she broached the subject of former President Donald Trump's promise to use the military against the enemy within the United States, that is. Over the weekend, Trump repeatedly suggested using the military against the enemy within. Hey, Maga Miller, who's the enemy within? Deep state. Who's deep state the deep bad state? actors that are trying to undermine the sovereignty of America and make us more a uh, one world government. What happens when Trump decides that Matt and I are deep state? Then I'll fight for you guys. Oh, yeah, that'll that'll help. Yeah, we're so we're so screwed. <laughs> we're, we're screwed. It's not going to. I mean, if, if, if we got Maga Miller on the front lines for us, we are we are. Thanks a lot for putting Dead. so much faith in me, guys. Thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> you know what? Screw you guys. You guys go enjoy your uh, Club Gitmo tan. Yeah, well. I mean, look, for the military tribunal that Trump's going to call for John and I, I ain't calling you as a witness. That's mm-hmm. fine. You'll, you'll sell us, mm-hmm. you'll sell us sell out sell you down the road. Yeah, you will. Yeah, you will. He'll, he'll get up there and he'll be like, Nate Miller. Happy meal for your kids. If you go up there and talk about these morons not not following me, and you'll be you'll be like they're traitors to America. Get all of them. Winnie the rally, Pooh is their best friend. At a rally in Aurora, Colorado, Trump said, "We have the greatest military in the world, but you have to know how to use them." <sighs> then uh, then went on to add, "It's the enemy from within." All the scum that we have to deal with that hate our country. That's a bigger enemy than China or Russia. Well, well, that I disagree with. Nope, nope. I mean, that's what uh, that's what the sex criminal is saying. No, no. Um, in a lengthy interview on Fox News, Trump made the suggestion again, saying, um, on Monday morning's edition of CNN This Morning, Casey Hunt played those moments for her panel and was stunned, speechless, as she tried to ask pro-Trump Matt Gorman about the thread. And Gorman did what MAGA Miller does on the show, where he then, you know, he didn't take he didn't take it like that because I watched the clip and they also referenced Biden's comments about Biden worrying it not being a peaceful transfer of power earlier in the clip. The way I took it was that obviously, as we know, there were riots in the wake of 2020 by who, but anyways, there's also riots on inauguration day. Riots on inauguration day. Mm. When was inauguration day? The 20th. January 20th. Yeah. I think the riots were done by then. Yeah, no, they had already they they had already been you know arrested and took you know yeah. pissed in pissed yeah. in the rotundra of the uh, Capitol. Um, that that was MAGA who did that. He says I take I took it as National Guard and military putting those down and controlling those, which I'm totally fine. Wish I wish I would have I wish it would have happened on January 6th. That's how I took it. Um, in other news, Casey Hunt's boyfriend taking notes on the side on how to make her speechless. <laughs> and if you jump to um the guy who loves freedom so much cheeto the sex criminal former president donald trump ratcheted his attack on cbs thursday morning <laughs> insisting that the broadcaster should lose its license and arguing that all license should go to the highest bidder like what? Since when do we need licenses to share news in the country? They, you have to have a broadcast license. I mean, I know, but like, since when? Since when are you auctioning them? Since when is there a limited number? You know, Look, of I got five bucks. Says that if Trump gets reelected, he'll auction off the a link the Lincoln bedroom for a night. Okay, just to make some money. Um, in a recent interview conducted by Bill Whitaker with Vice President Kamala Harris, which took place at the Naval Observatory over the weekend. Trump has been angry that the taped interview was edited for uh, time, a time-honored post-production practice, and floated the conspiracy that CBS News was somehow in cahoots with the Harris campaign. 
um, which then caused the Federal Communications Commission Chairman Jessica Rosenworcel hit back at former <laughs> President Donald Trump in a Thursday statement after he called for the FCC to strip CBS of its broadcast license for interviewing Vice President Kamala Harris. Um, it, I mean, so like, wild. this is like straight up out of Venezuela or North Korea. But anyways, and I quote, yeah. 60 Minutes is a major part of the news organization of CBS, which has just created the greatest fraud in broadcast history. CBS should lose its license and it should be bid out to the highest bidder as should all other broadcast licenses, because they are just as corrupt as CBS, maybe even worse. Fume the sex criminal, Donald Trump. Um, so just now in the last five, six minutes, we want to have the military go after people he doesn't agree with. Yep. He wants to strip the First Amendment because... They don't agree with him. Yep. Sounds like a dictator to me. Well, you've got people, you've got people that are fine with him being a dictator. Like they've literally, they've literally said like, yeah, we're fine with that. We think he should be a dictator. And, and it's the same recently. What's crazy about it is, is back in, I believe it was 2021 or maybe 2019, there was somebody that went around China asking if they should allow or they would allow Xi Jinping to be president for life there. And there were a lot of Chinese folks that were like, yeah, I think he should be president for life. And now you've got the same type of response from people in MAGA that are saying, like, oh, yeah, he's, he should be a dictator. It's fine. Like, is that not insane to you, Nate Miller? Yes. I, I, I do not want a dictator. Just I, I want you to serve your term for four years as a president. If you are eligible to run for a second term, then absolutely you have that opportunity to run for a second term. Um, and I, I think that we need term limits for House of Representatives and the Senate. Uh, I don't Supreme Court judges. Court. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, of course not. Absolutely not. Um. Oh, and you guys the, want to pack the, the court anyways. Yeah, pack because, it. I mean, because you need to get rid of a couple of those. No, you got to get rid of it. Well, oh, yeah, like Trump did it. These, uh, you know, uh, Clarence Thomas getting bribes for the vote a certain way. Yeah, that's fair. Um, the commissioner of the FCC highlighted the serious nature of Trump's post writing, while repeated attacks against broadcast stations by the former president and sex criminal may now be familiar, <laughs> these threats against free speech are serious and should not be ignored. She went on to say, as I've said before, the First Amendment is a cornerstone of our democracy and the FCC does not and will not revoke license for broadcast stations simply because a political candidate disagrees with or dislikes content or coverage. And to that, I agree with. But you're supporting the guy who doesn't. Yep. The simple fact that you say something means you do have the First Amendment right. Do you think that if and when he does win the presidency, do you really think that it's going to come down to him just being able to, uh, uh, with the stroke of a pen, take CBS's license away? You will have, That's what executive uh, orders are for. You will have an absolute up, uproar. And even even from myself, because that is the great thing about it's, that, that's that's what our show is right here. It, it's it's differing uh, points of view, continuing to talk through the issues. And if you um, have just a simple echo chamber and everyone agrees with you, and, and you have a bunch of yes men, then you look at some of the you know the the biggest corporations in America, where they're being ran right down into the the crapper because they have just a bunch of yes men. You need, quote-unquote, competition to bring out the best within yourself. If, you're, if he's being challenged or, or something like that, well, then he needs to look himself in the mirror and say, okay, they're kind of calling me on it. I need to do better, or I'm going to go prove them wrong because this is what it is. Now, yeah. if, if, yeah. They are, if they are cut, you know, selectively cutting 
to make the candidate look better, that is within their own right because that's their show. They have a t- they have a time limit that they have to go through. However, should they allow to put on the the the, the World Wide Web the full interview? Absolutely, should be kind of called out for it. Yeah, absolutely. So wait, the party of smaller government wants to create a wing of the government to force broadcasters to put out unedited versions. No, I don't want another. Me, I don't I, want another agent. I I, I let want me it tell to be. You. Go on. If Fox News released the unedited interviews with the sex criminal, he would have twelve percent vote in this election. Uh, what I what I want is the unedited interviews with Rudy Giuliani after <laughs> after the uh, supposed election stealing. Those got released, and that was just uh, that was fantastic. And that's what I'm talking about. Why 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 isn't the whole Kamala sixty minute released? Because a lot of us on my side of the so, aisle think that the legacy just because media, she's on for sixty minutes doesn't mean she actually talked for sixty minutes. Okay, like I sixty realize minutes. Realize that, but they cut up and made answers look a lot better than they were actually given. What I'm saying is, a lot of people from my side of the political spectrum think that the legacy mainstream media protects people from the left, makes them look better than they actually are to maintain their status quo. Um, anybody who should be grateful for editing before they release stuff should be you, Maga Miller. <laughs> That's absolutely right. And I appreciate editing. Just saying, you know, we had to edit that one time. You got so mad you took your shirt off live on the air. <laughs> Talk about indecent. Turned me on. Talk about a furry there. This is the Vince Show.